My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and this is a detailed walkthrough tour of one of my favorite boats, the MJM 40Z. This particular boat is really well set up for distance cruising, so please take a look, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video. So we're going to start our tour of uh, the exterior walkthrough of this 40 MJM. It's turned out to be a beautiful night. And it's nice like these that I really love showing off what this versatile pilot house is all about on the 40. And what I mean by that is your ability to completely open up the sides and the aft area. I do have the starboard side rolled down just so you can see just how good of condition the curtains are in, but um, I just love your ability to open this boat up on a nice beautiful evening like we have this, uh, like we have tonight. So um, hop it on board. One of the things that helped define this particular 40Z is, um, you can see these davits back here, this particular boat is a little bit more geared towards uh, cruising and I'll show you what I mean exactly by that with some of the features that are on this particular boat. Um, this boat does come with a tender with an eight horsepower outboard on the back. Um, you have the, the davits as well to be able to easily handle the boat um, while you're cruising. And <clears throat> You can also see how uh, we have teak decks here, and the teak decks are in excellent shape. Uh, they're just cleaned up, and they are looking really, really nice. The cushions have also been recently updated as well, and of course they're in great shape. Ultra leather, beautiful condition, just like they are new. Um, one thing to move forward with the cruisability of the boat. These particular owners have um, added these cushions underneath the helm chairs, which um, are a way to be able to sleep people that are taller than six feet up in the pilot house. You do have privacy curtains to provide privacy for this pilot house. If you are looking to sleep a couple people up here, you can sleep six people on board the 40Z. And these uh, stid seats are the narrow stid seats, which uh, give you a little bit more uh, feeling of security. They're a little bit better fit when you're in rough conditions. Um, so those are a nice seat for that, for sure. And these seats can spin around and face this seating area as well uh, for maximum seating. Single level deck from the floating dock height right to this helm area here. And this helm area has been updated with the Raymarine um, Axiom uh, along with the Raymarine radar as well. On the companion side, you have a Raymarine E90 which is nice so your companion can um, be involved in the navigation of the boat as well. You can see how you have a VHF here as you do also have a VHF right there as well. Um, on these Volvo IPS 500 engines we have uh, 1,270 hours and as you can see on the dash here uh, this is of course your joystick. This particular boat does have the DPS station keeping function. Our antenna is just right here. Um, this boat also has AIS and um, your horn, running lights, anchor wash down, all that sort of um, right here uh, within arm's reach. Clarion stereo, Jabsco, um, spotlight which you can see just up the bow there. I love the position of the spotlight on the MJMs so they don't um, interfere with any glare uh, with the stainless when it's illuminated at night if that spotlight was up on the hard top so that's really nice where they put those. Um, Lenko trim tabs, autopilot, all the really great stuff 
um, <coughs> bilge pumps here, your generator as well. You have, looks like um, 511 hours on the generator. Uh, one nice thing about this particular boat, which you can see right here, uh, so no, not only do you have reverse cycle heat and AC, but you also have a diesel heater as well, which is great if you're in New England and you're really looking to do extended cruising and get the most out of your summer and uh, fall. So, um, and so as far as storage is concerned, what I love about the 40Z is that these boats are designed from the beginning for uh, Volvo IPS drives, which are the engine spaces back here. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so what that means is in the pilot house here, you're no longer enclosing yourself within the engine space. That also means that because you have such a compact power plant, you have wonderful storage in the center decks here. Look at all that storage. You have a water heater, um, sump pumps, access to your air, air conditioning units, Raycor filters, Northern Lights generator, all that is very accessible. Another thing you may notice down here is you also have um, a water maker, which has been pickled. But um, if again, if you're looking to do extended cruising, um, that water maker is gonna be really nice for you. So more items that this particular boat has for uh, more geared towards distance cruising. So um, another thing is, is underneath these two hatches here, have a yeah. tremendous amount of storage. You can put full-size bikes, golf clubs, water toys, all sorts of gear in there. This is a great garage that you have um, and you're not strapping bikes to the side rails or anything like that on board the 40. So it's really nice to keep things nice and tidy. Um, and now uh, heading below. Um, <clears throat> I love the layout of the 40. Um, <clears throat> most 40s um, have this particular layout with the dinette off the starboard. And this dinette does drop down and you can sleep two there as well. Um, there are privacy curtains that you can put up here if you wish to add some privacy for the folks that are sleeping in here. Um, but they have some nice windows that open up um, and plenty of natural light and ventilation uh, while sleeping at night. And I'll go down below here just to give you a better shot of the galley. So this galley setup has been updated since she was originally built. Um, what I mean by that um, is she does have dimmable lighting. Um, she does have this corner freezer right in here. And so what that means when you've converted this to a corner freezer, that doubles your refrigeration space. So these are two refrigerators, which is really great. Um, you have your trash right in here. Uh, convection uh, microwave. I love the lighting, particularly at this time of night, just really enhances the look of that cherry woodwork. Um, and behind the storage cabinets here, you've got a lot of storage. And I'll just show you your drawers here. Storage for pots and pans, or cleaning gear in this case. Uh, and then you have some storage underneath these steps as well. So um, here you have your electrical panel, your 110, 12 volts here. You have two air conditioning units, uh, one dedicated for the pilot house and then another dedicated for the accommodations down below. Clarion stereo, this is your diesel heater control and then this is your uh, water maker control right there. All your start batteries are here, easily accessible. All right, now let's move forward. Uh, this is the master, and you can see that this uh, mattress is a real mattress. Uh, again, nicely set up for distance cruising. Uh, we don't have the 
um, the bedding on board right now, but um, you can see that this is a real mattress, super comfortable, really great if you're planning on spending a lot of nights on board the boat. Off to port here. Of course, you have your hanging locker. And you have a TV up in the master as well, which is a nice option. A few plugs and whatnot right here. This is a, the way MJM does it with their 40 is you have a split head and shower. So this is your stall shower right in here. Nicely lit, easy to keep clean. Look at that. You even have a duct for your diesel heater. So when you're extended cruising, you're even warm in the shower. Pretty sweet. And then this is your head, freshwater electric head, sink vanity, storage below and outboard. Really great. Now what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at the engine. So here we are taking a look in the engine room of this 40Z. So you have this aft hatch here, which lifts up with the press of a button. You don't need to remove these cushions, which is great. Um, and then you have these two hatches here that you can just lift up. Um, these two hatches here are primarily your daily checks, oils, uh, sea strainers and whatnot. And then this larger hatch is if you're doing um, more maintenance, really uh, more deep inspection of the engine room. Um, but nicely laid out, super clean. Uh, these Volvo IPS 500s will push the boat um, at about uh, 31 knots and you'll be getting roughly 1.1 uh, 1 nautical mile per gallon at 31 knots, which is pretty fantastic for a boat of this size, super efficient. Um, and the uh, MJM 40Z is a category A offshore safety rated boat. So uh, she has the highest level of offshore safety available for a vessel of this size. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough tour of this 2010 MJM 40Z. If you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to me about this 40Z or any other MJM on the market. Thank you very much.